Rashmi Samant, you are not uh, somebody who does not know about this state and some of these more, how should I put it, communally charged hotspots. I, I want to ask you, what do you make of this contradiction that CNN News 18 has exposed? What does it tell you, Rashmi Samant, as an activist? Well, Rahul, all I can see is that you know, the entire Ram Mandir incident, uh, the entire Ram Mandir, uh, you know, consecration on the 26th January is being hijacked by the opposition uh, to gain a few brownie points with their op uh, with their uh, vote bank. That's what is going on right now. If you see only yesterday, B.K. Hariprasad, a member of Legislative Council in Karnataka government from the Congress, warned that a Godra-like incident will happen. So all this, you know, sort of statements which are coming out of the Congress camp in Karnataka and their actions only show that they're out there for vendetta. They're out there to reinforce the belief of their vote bank and they're out there to play politics at the, you know, at the cost of innocent lives. If you're, if you're you know, threatening of a Godra-like incident, you're actually threatening violence at this point. The car sevaks have been one of the most vilified people in Bharat. They've been burnt alive. They've been, you know, shot point blank. Their bodies have been tied to rocks and dumped in the Sarayu. So it's easy to go after them because they've been vilified time and again. In a country where the Supreme Court observed that it cannot reopen cases related to the Kashmiri Pandit genocide because it's 30 years old. You can only imagine why a three-decade-old case in this uh, case, where the person's not even absconding, is being reopened now, whilst the Karnataka uh, has had Congress in power for a very long time. It's not that it's the first time that Congress is coming to power. They've been in power five years ago. They've been in power before that. But why are they picking it now? Because 22 January is coming okay. and they want to instill fear in the minds of the people. They want to instill fear in the minds of the people who want to go there and they want to create a sense of unrest within the whole country. Only that justifies what they're doing um, and the timing of it and the nature of it. And Mr. the fact Jinder, that they're willing to look the, the argument cases against that, rioters. Yes, Rashmi Samant is making comes back to the hard facts that I pointed towards, which is that look, the action is selective. No one is saying that don't complete the legal process. But in one bunch of cases, you short circuit the legal process. You let off, as we have said, the PFI carder. And you make allowances. You release them, even though they were involved in rioting, in which two people died. But Mr. Pujari, who has been perhaps done in by the law, which has not acted for a variety of reasons, I don't know what they are. You will make him an example. This is where the problem lies. This is the contradiction which you are finding very tough to answer. No, no, Rahul, absolutely not. Since September, the Karnataka police has undertaken a drive to investigate and expedite and dispose of all the long pending cases and this was one of them no now, no sir ask, no sir can, please this is this is no no one second long pending no. because no let's get to the facts here long pending only because this individual was deemed a absconder the documents okay. that i have brought out and we're going to put those documents on your screen right. viewers suggest otherwise so, so, he was not an absconder he was presenting himself whenever he was asked to present himself. He was given reprieves. He, given uh, he g gave undertakings physically present, promising that he will behave well. He was taken into viewers, preventive custody, not once but three times. And was let off uh -huh. after he gave undertakings. In this case, for some reason... Maybe because there was no evidence, the police very, perhaps, I don't know, I'm only assuming, dubbed this individual a absconder and said, look, we can't do anything. And suddenly, when the court gets active, you resurrect it blindly without looking at the facts. And this is what is being exposed and this is the, this is the reason why these questions are being asked. Please answer no, no, this no. question. Yes, Rahul, I, I want to ask one question. 
just because sir, he is I'm a car salesman. Sir, I'm answers, not questions. No, no. no. So, so, yeah. so my answer is in this question. Just because he is a car salesman, does he escape the rule of law? Is he immune so to the criminal prosecution? How did PFI, PFI allege rioters escape? Why were they given a reprieve? September. Since September, no, I am asking you, sir. Was there any court order giving a reprieve or even a closure I, I certificate? No, hang on. Against the forty cases in which PFI cadre, not hundreds, but going into thousands, were implicated. I am asking you. Well, Rahul, the Karnataka Police is the right uh, institution to answer. But they answered the this, and they have said he was a so proclaimed say, uh, say, absconder. The therefore, see, that's where law. the problem is. That's where the problem, Mr. Raja Gopalan, are we tonight skirting the real issue, the elephant in the room, which is selective bias? Simple question. Yeah, correct. You are absolutely right. It's a bias, vindictiveness, a revenge, and moreover, Raghur, I, I, my understanding is after consulting top leaders of BJP. They are also going to take it to the you know uh, voters during 2024 elections. Apart from that, there is a contradiction, internal contradiction in the Congress. The Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister do not see eye to eye, and Hari Prasad is creating a lot of internal problems. And second, Siddaramaiah has given a signal to Telangana government, Himachal Pradesh government to act like that. They are also digging. My understanding again is that state intelligence chief was the person who to dig out the case and presented before the chief minister when Mr. Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi were re denied, you know, the car save. So sorry, Ram Mandir's invitation. So therefore, it's a tit for tat hmm. contradiction, and the state police has to be totally, uh, uh, you know, to be blamed because state police is the uh, culprit in this. Who are and uh, you know creating this type of uh, disturbances for the car sevaks so that in Karnataka from 14th and 15th onwards after Magar Sangranti there are three or four trains to leave from Bengaluru and Mangaluru and other parts of Karnataka to Ayodhya they want to stop that hmm. so creating an internal problems it's a political gimmick by Mr. Siddaramaiah and internal Congress survey is that. Even Mr. Malikajan Karge is behind this. Okay, that is a very important disclosure being made by senior journalist Mr. Raja Gopalan, who is obviously conversant with certain facts on the ground. Now, Mr. Jindal, that's the fundamental question. This looks like two tales. Two stories, <laughs> same facts, but different endings. The PFI on one side, Kar Sevaks on the other, and let's not overlook various facts. You have tied up with the Samajwadi Party that at one time had even opened fire on Kar Sevaks. Let's not forget this. Let's not forget this, sir. Rahul, if any citizen in India breaks the law takes law in his hand he has to face the of course but the response the also has to be uniform right. how is the response the not uniform mr sevaks, jindal the car sevaks do not get immunity from law just because they are sevaks. i understand they that and i began by law. saying i am not making a case for an acquittal but i am showing and again i'll put that document out there which cnn news 18 has accessed viewers and what does that tell us that the police claims that this man, Mr. Pujari, was an absconder have fallen flat. That is the principal reason for why, hang on, this case for 30 years was closed or put in suspended animation. But it turns out that it is a lie. It is actually the police that should be asked questions. Because at the end of that, viewers, if this person is guilty of the crime of rioting, there would have been victims. Victims who have lost something or the other. They have not been given justice for 30 years. No one is asking that question. 30 years the police has hidden behind a false claim that this person was an absconder. CNN News 18 has exposed this. No action against, of course, the police, 